Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a Slack notification from a Google Form. The goal here is to demonstrate how, when someone submits a Google Form, a notification is automatically sent to your Slack channel. On the left side of my screen, you can see a Google Form titled Sales Campaign Lead Submission. It has fields like email, name, address, company name, contact number, interested product shock service, and budget. On the right side, you'll see the corresponding Slack channel named Sales Campaign. Later in this video, I'll briefly cover how to create a Slack channel and obtain the webhook URL required to connect the form to Slack. For now, here is our Sales Campaign channel. It's currently empty. Let me show you how this works. I'll fill out the form and hit Submit. As you can see, a message has appeared in the Slack channel. It even includes emojis and is well formatted. Down below, you can see that the same message has appeared as a plain text. You can choose either of them. I will show that to you during the code walkthrough. Now, how do you set this up for you? To get started, you first need a webhook URL. This URL is what allows Google Forms to communicate with Slack. If you don't already have a Slack account, the first step is to create one. Let's walk through the process of setting up a Slack account and creating a workspace. First, head over to slack.com and click on Get Started. You'll need to sign up, and I'll be signing up using my Google account. Click on Continue with Google. After signing up, you'll need to create a workspace. Click on Create a Workspace. Let's name the workspace something like Tech Lever Sales or Tech Lever Marketing. You can upload or edit a workspace photo as well, but I'll skip that for now. Click Next. Now you'll have the option to invite colleagues via email. I'll skip this step, but feel free to invite your team. For the channel name, let's use Sales Campaign. Once that's done, the channel is created. After setup, you'll land on the Slack homepage. Here, you'll notice that Slack creates two default channels for you, and you'll also see the channel you just created. You can create additional channels by clicking on the Add Channel button. Now, let's move on to the key part, getting the webhook URL that will allow us to connect Slack with Google Forms. Go to api.slack.com and click on Your Apps. If you haven't created any apps yet, click on Create New App. Select your workspace and click Next. Now that your app is created, we need to enable the incoming webhooks. Under Features, go to Incoming Webhooks and activate it. Click on Add New Webhook to Workspace. Select the Sales Campaign channel that we just created and click Allow. And that's it. Your webhook URL is now ready. Copy this URL as it will be used in the app script to connect your Google Form with Slack. Once you have your webhook URL, the next step is to construct your Google Form. You can either create your own form or make a copy of the form I'm using by clicking the link in the description. After setting up the form, go to the script editor where you'll see two files. Replace the webhook URL and the channel name with yours. Then hit the Save button. 
No go to triggers. Then click on the Add Trigger button. Choose Send Slack Notification as the function name. In the event type, choose On Form Submit, then hit Save. It will ask you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. Now you can test it by submitting the form. Let's do a code walkthrough. Open the script editor. The core idea behind this code is to capture responses from a Google form, format those responses into a Slack message, and send them to a Slack channel. Additionally, it logs some debug information for troubleshooting or later analysis. Let's break down the flow step by step. The entry point of the entire process is the send Slack notification function. This function is designed to be triggered automatically when a Google form is submitted. The form submission event passes the response details into the function. We start by extracting all responses from the form submission. These lines retrieve the form responses and store them in item responses. Each response contains both the question and the user's answer. The for loop goes through each response, adding both the question and its corresponding answer to array response and JSON response. The array format is used for simple messaging while the JSON format allows for a rich, structured message in Slack. Next, the code logs essential information to a Google spreadsheet. This is useful for debugging or auditing form submissions later. It logs the email of the respondent, the array of responses, and the JSON version of the responses. Let me show you the link debugging spreadsheet. You can find this log useful while constructing the Slack messages. Then, a clean text-based message is created by passing the array of responses to construct Slack message. A more detailed Slack formatted message block is created using construct rich Slack message, which uses JSON responses to construct rich formatted message. For the demo, I am using both types of message. You can use either of them. Both the simple and rich messages are sent to Slack using the send Slack message function, which takes care of posting the messages to a specific Slack channel using Slack's incoming webhook URL. This function sends the actual message to Slack. It constructs the message payload which includes the Slack channel name and the message itself. This function sends the payload to Slack using the provided webhook URL. If something goes wrong during this process, the error is caught and logged. This function builds a simple Slack message from the response data. Here, a plain text message is created by looping over the response array and adding each question-answer pair to the message. This function builds a more detailed and formatted message using Slack's rich text blocks. Here you can have emojis as well. It supports markdown syntax as well. It constructs multiple sections, each of which adds a new piece of the form response to the Slack message. The message starts with a divider and a header, followed by the form responses, formatted in Slack's block structure. This loop adds each question-answer pair as a section in the rich message, making the Slack notification visually organized. That's it for the code overview. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.